Corey Seager is hurt, and we have another big prospect promotion up next on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FBT in 5 on Thursday, June 6th. I am Frank Sample, joined by Chris Towers, and Corey Seager left Wednesday's game with left hamstring tightness. He missed 31 games with a left hamstring injury last year. This is something that has plagued him throughout his career. We don't know that he's going on the IL, but if I had to guess, that would be my prediction. So we are looking at replacements, Chris, and in shallower leagues, I think there are three clear names. J.P. Crawford, Jose Caballero, and Corey Seager's teammate, Josh Smith, who actually went three for four with a home run and a steal on Wednesday. Uh, how would you rank those three, or how would you prioritize them in, I guess, in a points league versus a, a roto league? All right, so in a roto league, I think it's Caballero pretty obviously. He's up to 20 steals, leads the American League so far this season. Doesn't do a ton else, but 20 steals is 20 steals. I'll also throw Mason Wynn. In that discussion, I really like what we've seen from him, and I would prefer him in a categories league to um, J.P. Crawford and Josh Smith. In a points league, I think I lean Crawford over Smith, but Scott White made a good point on the full episode of the podcast, which is pretty similar profiles. Neither of them is going to hit for a ton of power. You're hoping they get on base a ton. They don't strike out. Well, Josh Smith is currently doing that, and J.P. Crawford really isn't, so I'd be fine going with Smith ahead of Crawford. I just think Crawford has the better overall track record. The only thing you have to monitor with Mason Wynn is that he yep. did not play on Wednesday due to a lingering back issue. So hopefully he's all right and he's been lighting it up recently. So I agree wholeheartedly uh, with Mason Wynn in a categories league. If you play in deeper leagues, Zach Neto, 30% rostered. Maybe he's out there in like a 12-team roto league. He hit his seventh home run here on Wednesday. And then in some of those 15-teamers, it's not great, but you might be looking at names like Edmundo Sosa, David mm -hmm. Hamilton, and Paul DeYoung. It's been a busy week for the Orioles as they are promoting yet another prospect. This time, it's one of their pitching prospects. Cade Povich will make his Major League debut at the Blue Jays on a Thursday. He's a 24-year-old lefty, third-round pick back in 2021. In 11 starts at AAA this season, Povich had a 318 ERA, a 111 whip, 75 strikeouts over 56 and two-thirds innings. That's an 11.9 K per nine. Interesting timing because Povich was actually coming off a pretty rough stretch in the minors, mm -hmm. but the Orioles have a lot of games coming up and sounds like they might want to use a six-man rotation for the next couple of weeks or so. Uh, Chris, what are your thoughts on just the prospect, Kate Povich, and are you interested in adding him anywhere? Yeah, so I, I think you just have to look around the league at Jared Jones' success so far, or Luis Heal, and the, the, f the switch that he flipped at the end of April to become a, a really good control pitcher to, to see that guys who struggle with their command, you can't often bet on it, but sometimes they just figure it out. And, and maybe that's the thing with Cade Povich is last year, he was like six walks per nine. He was really bad. Uh, his minor league numbers overall are pretty bad, but this season 3.18 ERA, 3.3 walks per nine, 75 strikeouts and 56 and two thirds innings. He's been really good, and if he has figured out those control issues, I think Kade Povich is someone who can not just be a useful fantasy option, but could be really good with that Orioles offense backing him. Good defense, great home park. I think there's a lot to like about the situation. It's just I'm not sure I buy Cade Povich as much more than just a streamer for the Orioles. I think he's probably only going to make one or two starts, although if he looks good, things could work out, but it's not someone that I'm necessarily viewing as a must start ahead of his debut. We'll see what he looks like. If he shines, then it's a different story. But for now, I'm not so enthusiastic about it. Would you rather speculate on Kate Povich or Adam Major, who made his major league debut just the other night and he threw a quality start for the Padres? I think it'd be Povich just because even if you thought they were similar uh, talents, Povich's situation is better, at least if they both stick, because he's got that great home park. He's got that great lineup backing it up, backing him up. If you can just be a league average pitcher, you can be a really useful option for fantasy. I think we're seeing that with, you know, guys like Cole Irvin and Albert Suarez so far for the Orioles, where those guys could just be useful starting fantasy arms 
just because they're in such a good spot. So that would give Povich the edge for me. All right. For more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, the Odyssey app, or anywhere else podcasts are found. Thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5, and we will be back again tomorrow. Bye-bye. 